Welcome to In Your Face. I'm Sammy Cohen with my partner, JJ Greenberg. Today we'll be talking about three topics. Our first topic we'll be starting off with is Derrick Rose going to be a Hall of Famer? I say yes. I don't think so. Well, Derrick Rose has had a great career until he's gotten injured. He won an MVP award and got Rookie of the Year. I don't think he can because he's only played one or two full seasons in the NBA. If he his body's gonna wear out on him soon and he wouldn't have enough MB he wouldn't have played enough in that enough games in the NBA to be considered Hall of Fame worthy. But Derrick Rose was considered one of the best point guards, if not players in the NBA. How about they could have won a championship if he if he avoided injury. I think Derrick Rose is gonna play good on the Knicks and probably become and pro- they'll probably be a playoff team, and they may, and he may become a Hall of Famer. So it's if he avoided an injury. He's not going to be the star on the Knicks. So if people are going to start to fade back on him. As Christoph Porzingis is on the rise, he's going to start to fall, and soon he won't be as heard of as much. Our next topic, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? I think it's actually the Packers. Aaron Rodgers has five wide receivers that he trusts. No other quarterback has five wide receivers that he actually trusts. Patriots, I can only think of two, three. And he has Jeff Janis, Richard Rogers, Jordy Nelson, Randall Cobb, and I don't know what. He, he trusts his wide receivers more than any other quarterback in the league, and their defense is okay. And if in free agency, if they end the draft, they could acquire more defense. And it, and if you want to, and they have the best shot at winning. Well, after the the Panthers' crazy season, they completely dominated the NFL until they went to the Super Bowl. But I think that they're gonna win the Super Bowl this year. They'll make it, and I think they're gonna win. I think they have a they have great potential having Cam Newton, and very great solid players that can make it the whole season. I think that the Panthers are going to be the team to beat next season. I don't think so because they lost cornerback Josh Norman. I don't know if their defense is going to the guard yeah, but, four but solid Cam, wide receivers. Cam Newton is incredible. He had 38 passing touchdowns, 12 rushing touchdowns, the most in the NFL. I think that Cam Newton's going to have a great season and the Panthers yeah, are just I believe that the Panthers will outscore the Packers the Panthers' offense will do better than the Packers' defense. But the Panthers' defense has no chance against four solid wide receivers. Luke Keekley will sometimes have to be forced to cover Richard Rodgers, leaving less pass rush. So, okay, well, we'll see yeah, next year. We'll see next year. So, our final topic is, will the Cub- if, Cubs had the f- if Cubs had all their players healthy, do you think they'll win the World Series? I don't think so, because... Think about it. They they cannot beat the Mets. If they they get lucky and don't have to face the Mets, they have a shot. That's the only way that they have a shot at winning the World Series. But if they lose, like, if the pitchers continue to struggle, there's definitely no way they're going to beat the Nationals either. Well, I think that the Cubs are going to win the World Series when they have a full and healthy team. Despite Kyle Schroeber getting injured in the – one of the first games of the season. I think I still think the Cubs are going to have a great shot at winning the World Series. Th- they can get by the Mets. Jake Arrieta has pitched so much better than, so much better, and I feel like the Cubs are going to have a great second half of the season and be World Series favorite. But the Cubs, just think about it. they have Anthony Rizzo, Chris Bryant, Addison Russell, Jerry Arrieta. They are stacked. They have a huge chance of winning the World Series, healthy or not. But I think that the Cubs are just going to have a great second half of the season and postseason. What are your opinions on that? I just don't think so because if their pitchers, they haven't performed as long. They're relying on the bullpen too much when the pitchers are only going four or five or six innings. They need some great eight inning, seven inning starts, the rest of the bullpen, so the bullpen doesn't struggle each game consistently. Okay, well, thank you for tuning in to in your face. I'm Sammy Cohen with my partner, JJ Greenberg. Have a good night.